What you staring at? Smelled something awful. Thought it was dumb. Now I see it's only a couple of Redanian dogs. What was that? Bloody bastard. You're about to feel a Redanian dog's bite! At him! What's going on here? Enough! Nothing worth your while. A little difference of opinion. I could treat this as an assault on representatives of the Redanian royal delegation. Yeah, you could. What would that entail? A stint in the dungeon ought to calm you down. Then we'll see. A stupid street fight, and you want to dump me in a dungeon with Philippa Eilhart? Ah, we're not animals. A modest contribution to the Order, along with your word of honor that you'll not do this again. A contribution in my word of honor or the dungeon. Hmm. Precisely. Listen, Sir Knight, if you don't shut your fat mouth, I'll start a row that'll make the Battle of Brenner look like a squabble. Bind this madman and lock him up with the witch! Here. What are you doing here? I worked awfully hard to see Philippa Eilhart in chains. I doubt you'll be so witty once we're standing side by side on the scaffold. Unlike you, I've done nothing that would get me hanged. To them, you're a kingslayer. I assure you, Radovid's torturers will make you admit to anything. Even intercourse with trolls. Radovid's no idiot. He knows I'm innocent. Besides, I helped him once. Radovid is a politician. He'd gladly show the world he's an avenger of fallen kings. Sure, but before he does that, he'll gladly hear about your exploits in Vergen. By aiding the rebels, I weakened Henselt's position. And that's of paramount importance. Radovid is King of the Hill. He has the deciding vote during the summit, thanks, among others, to me. Is that why he dumped you in this dungeon? This, Witcher, is a little misunderstanding. Did you know from the start that Saskia was a dragon? I had suspected she was not what she seemed to be for some time, though I did not learn the truth until she fell poisoned and I could examine her thoroughly. I've seen the list of antidote ingredients. Not a word about the Rose of Remembrance. Well? We all prefer to have loyal allies. The Rose of Remembrance is very powerful. Even as a she-dragon, Saskia could not resist my spell. Why don't you summon her? You could use some help now. Dimeritium blocks all magic, telepathy included. Someone's coming. Your Majesty. I've waited long for this meeting. You left Redania so suddenly I had no chance to give you the send-off you so richly deserved. Your Majesty, I fail to understand why I have been arrested. I've done nothing but serve Redania's interests. Supporting the Rebellion, undermining Hensult, risking my own reputation on your behalf. I'm no longer the little boy who believed your every word. Why do you do this, Radovid? I was there at your most trying hours. Without me, you would not be the man you are. I don't understand. You understand very well. You conspired against my father, Vizimir, and against me. The entire Redanian court once trembled in fear of Philippa Eilhart. Untrue, sire. You must let me explain. What are your charges, your majesty? Ambassador. Triss Marigold was kind enough to compile a list of persons making up the secret society known as the Lodge of Sorceresses. Some Nilfgaardian sorceresses were members as well, but you need not be bothered with them, my lady. Triss, you're mad! The Lodge ordered Demavent killed. It ordered Foltes killed. I suspect you played a part in my father's death. And if I released you from the Dimeritium, you'd kill me too. You're finished, Eilhart. 
There will be a trial, due process. Everything as it should be. But know that you shall not wriggle out of this. You shall be convicted of conspiracy, treason, and regicide. They'll rip your flesh from you in bits before they burn you at the stake. Throughout my childhood, I felt your cold stare on the back of my neck. When I issued orders, my subjects would search with their eyes for Philippa Eilhart's gesture of consent. The entire court at Tretagor looked on as you humiliated me. All Redania laughed behind my back. You taught me to look everyone in the eye. Forced them to lower their gaze, do you remember? A king must never show weakness, uncertainty, you said. I've mastered that skill. Yet there is one I could never force to submit. You. You've one chance to shorten your suffering. Admit to everything, here and now, in the Ambassador's presence. Look me in the eye and repent. Submit. As you wish. Torturer, put out those vile eyes. You're making a grave error, sire. Talk again, witch. I refused to believe it when they told me Geralt of Rivia was in my dungeon. The Geralt I know wouldn't let himself be captured. I was really hankering for a tour of your dungeon, sire. What's so interesting about it? The guests. I apologize for the dismal company you're in, witcher. Fortunately, Eilhart won't be with us much longer. I beg your mercy, not for myself, but for Triss Marigold. Your friend is now in Ambassador Fitz Estelin's hands. I know, but surely Shillard won't deny you a small favor, sire. Forgive me, but I can't be sure that I won't require grander favors from Nilfgaard. The fate of entire nations will be decided in this city. Individuals are irrelevant. The Nilfgaardian Ambassador mentioned an organization of sorceresses. Just so happens I'm interested in the plans of this Lodge. Those plans should interest no one, because the Lodge will soon cease to exist. I've nothing against you personally, Witcher, but you've gone from being an uninvited guest to being an awkward witness. I understand I'm in for an extended tour. You certainly shan't leave here before the summit ends. I'm flattered, sire, but you overestimate me if you think I could influence it in any way. Politics is like a complicated puzzle. Every piece may prove useful. Or equally useless, even harmful. A breakthrough awaits us here at Loch Muin. By my hand, no less. This will be no second Thaned. Soon, everyone will learn what the Redanian King is capable of. You'll excuse me but it's time for the summit. Radovid is capable, but too young. He has yet to understand that only the dead remain truly silent. Because Redania is doing Nilfgaard a favor, I feel obliged to help the king in return. Let Triss go. That would be foolish. If there truly is a place we go after leaving this Vale of Tears, you'll meet her there soon enough. Allow me to relieve the Redanian Executioner. What favor do you mean? You can tell me. Just like you said, the dead keep their secrets. That's true, but I prefer to be cautious. I promise to reveal every last detail as soon as your body is cold. Pity you won't live to see it. Loch Muin's in for a huge surprise, both the mages and the kings. Nobody likes others to decide for them. That's especially true of kings. You're dangerous, Witcher, and too independent. In time, Radovid will thank me, and he won't be alone. 
Kill him, but beware his sorcery. Hold him, heart. Of here. I need some answers first. Was Schiller telling the truth about the lodge, the assassinations? He said exactly what Radovid wanted to hear. Half-truths, musings stripped of contexts, which differ very little from lies. Did Triss take part in all this? She's clean in those terms. Innocent as a child, but only to a point, I assure you. She has not been honest with you about many other matters. Why did all this happen? Murdering monarchs, what interests did it serve? I can't fathom. Help me get out of here and I'll explain all and lift the spell from Saskia. Take these shackles off me and lead me to my house. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Everything. I didn't track you alone. Yorvith can't wait to see you again. My death would change little. Yorvath and all like him have no right to judge others. How does the spell work? Saskia's will and mine are one. She cannot resist me. But fear not. There's no suffering involved. She merely believes me to be the most wonderful person in the world. As if she were in love. You know what's most beautiful? In spite of all this, she seems unchanged. She's retained her charm, her valor, her honor. Where's Saskia? When I was arrested, she was with Sheila. They must be on their way to the deliberations by now. Clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. All right, but if you're lying to me... Unbind me and lead the way. We must return through the sewers. The shackles stay on, and you'll go first. Shillard will raise the alarm. No, he won't. We'll be long gone by the time he comes to. Kill him. I'm not into murdering unconscious old men. Lead on. No tricks, Phil. I want to get out of here, and I want to live. I believe that. Can you walk? Sure you won't faint on me? I'll manage. Will you remove my shackles? The manacles stay on. Who did this to her? It was Radovid's way of thanking her for the care she provided him when he was a child. I saw him with his army on his way to the talks, whistling a tune. Get me out of here! Shut up, witch! You're alive only because you're still needed. Philip has promised to help us in exchange for her freedom. And you believe her? Know a better way to free Saskia? Got the strength to walk, Eilhart? I must find it. What state is Saskia in now? I've ordered her to carry out Sheila's bidding until I return. Great. And Sheila will be at the talks? Yes. She's probably there already, making certain the Lodge's plans do not fall through.
What would you have done if Saskia hadn't been poisoned? If a certain foolish witcher hadn't gathered the potion ingredients? I would have sought other means, but I couldn't miss that opportunity. What's Sheila supposed to safeguard? The restitution of the Council and Conclave, and the creation of a strong, independent state with Saskia as its leader. With what aim? As a bulwark. A defense against Nilfgaard. After years of chaos and destruction, the time has come to build. We wish to rule, yes. Where is the fault in that? Everyone wants to rule. And I know how to do that. Better than any other monarch in this city. You can't hope to win the common folk's trust. Humans will never accept a sorceress queen. Non-humans won't either, given what that old hag Finderbear has achieved. They all believe in Saskia. They all trust her. The girl is a born leader, yet she has no political instincts. She's charismatic, but not cunning. Courageous, but not fierce. She is just, but lacks the required cruelty. She is your very opposite. Perhaps. Together we would be unstoppable. Did you order Full Test murdered? No! Shillard claimed that Triss testified. Triss doesn't know what she's talking about. The Lodge exists, and Triss has lost our trust. All that is true. But Foltest's assassination? That was not my order. How do we free Saskia? I have charmed a dagger with a counterspell. You must thrust it into the She-Dragon's heart. You mean your heart, witch? Do you mock us? There is no other way. She must be struck with surgical precision, otherwise the counterspell won't work. All the blade's runes must touch blood, and its point must pierce a chamber of her heart. We'll need to hold her down somehow. Hold down a dragon? This is ridiculous. She's lying, Geralt. I don't trust her. Why would she even need this dagger? In a minute we'll hear that she planned to free Saskia herself. Any time you cast a spell or a curse, you must have a counterspell at the ready. It's a basic rule of magic. I prepared the dagger just before I cast the spell, in case anything went awry. A basic rule, but I don't know many mages who follow it. Where's the dagger? My quarters. In Geoffrey Monk's former home, inside a well-secured chest. I know the house. Yervith. Know any way to get to Philippa's quarters unnoticed? Through this sewer. We may encounter monsters, but we'll gain a lot of time. Keep an eye on her. I'll go ahead. There's something in there. I avoided this place earlier. Knowing you, it's probably a damsel in distress. That's all right. I'm not afraid of the glory. Let me check. Saskia perishes from the blow. You'll be next. And be assured, it will not be a quick death. You dream of that, don't you? This place looks just like the last. Same stench, too. Wait here.
Pain-killing spells require focus and precision. I cannot manage one now. Die from the pain, then. Rest assured, no one will help you, nor weep for you. Keep moving. Geralt, you'd best check the room before we enter. I don't like this. Neither do I. Unshackle me. Remove the dimeritium. I can help you. Shut up! Is this the chest? Describe it. It's heavy, covered in runes. There's a circle and candles on the floor. Yes. The very chest in which Geoffrey Monk kept his most valuable treasures. The dagger's inside. How do we bloody open it? The candles must be lit in a specific order. I figured it out. My notes are downstairs. After that, a simple spell will suffice. Remove my shackles. Geralt, do you know this ritual? Only a mage can perform it. Shut up! I'll light the candles, then we'll remove the dimeridium. Nothing's happening. My notes are clear. Now unshackle me. I'll open the chest with a spell. Neither of us can utter it. It's not something you learn in a moment. A trained mage is needed to cast spells. The candles are lit. We need to hurry. Do as I say before I lose consciousness. Try anything clever and you will die. Someone who restored hope to the Enche. She's a monster. If you think she can rule a realm of humans and elves herself, 
Vegetarian! You'll suffer the consequences of your foolishness. Look out, Carol! Amazing fight, Gwynblade! Get the dagger and let's get out of here! Let's hope this blade will do the trick. A strange weapon. Never seen anything like it. I hope it works. Too bad Eilhart won't tell us anything more. Keep in mind that the other sorceresses are here. Philippa may inform Sheila. Or command the dragon. I won't be surprised if I'm forced to fight Saskia. Confused by spells, she won't understand we want to help her. You're probably right. But please, don't kill her. Unless you must do so to save your own life. Philippa will be far away by now. She was in pain. Let's hope that kept her honest. She's bound to recover quickly, and promptly return to conspiring. She's out of the game for now. Time to join the talks. I'll go ahead and see what we can expect. Crystal balls, break your wands, and... In a hurry to see the deliberations. Here on urgent business. Your dress seems to confirm it. Excuse you indeed. I suppose I couldn't much care. I've heard what I came to hear. And what, pray tell, was that? The rightful heir will ascend to the Adernian throne. There will be peace in the land. What more could one want? Prince Stennis is here? King Stennis. Crowned two days past in Vengerberg. Merely send a messenger here. All those present promptly agreed that he will make a good ruler. Prince Stennis. A poisoner, coward, and schemer. He trembled with disgust when he spoke to the peasants. Disdain flowed from him like vomit. But he didn't deserve to be lynched. That was not the justice Saskia fought for. Prince Stennis I, son of Demavend III, became the 17th King of Edirn. He won the hearts of the people. They saw him as the hope of the nation. The realm, ravaged by war, needed a ruler sensitive to the plight of his subjects. King Stennis I was just that. I see you took care of the guards. I hate those monastic curs. They're not paragons of virtue, true, but they were just doing their job. 
Then they didn't do it well enough. Can we go now? Yes, let's go. Time to finish it. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Temeria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Edern no longer controls Upper Edern. We have rejected Prince Stennis. King Stennis? And handed King Henselt's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favour of reconstituting the Council and Conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you issue from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognise no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up to Meria? Or march on the Pontar Valley? Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognise the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. Everything we did in Vergen will be in vain. There's still hope. We have the dagger. To the matter at hand. The document describing the Charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the Charter found in the ruins on Thaned Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisors. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you shall be allowed to designate advisors to Cowherd at most. That is true, Your Majesty. My kings, before you sign this document, please hear me out. Excellency, with all due respect, this matter does not concern Nilfgaard in the least. I am here at King Henselt's bidding. Will you deny my right to speak? <coughs> what is the meaning of this? This man tried to kill me this morning. He attempted to take an Imperial envoy's life in your lands. I presume he was interrogated. He confessed. Faltest and Demiven died by his hand. He also revealed the identity of his employers. Sorceresses. They helped me with my assassinations. Speak on. The Lodge of Sorceresses sought to remove those rulers who acted against the will of mages. Lodge of Sorceresses. We have compiled a list. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, Tris Merigold, Kira Metz, 
Francesca Finderbear, Ida Emin, and finally, Sheila de Tanzavir. To my deepest regret, two Nilfgaardian sorceresses, Asira Varanahid and Fringa de Vigo, were also members. The Emperor will deal with them accordingly. Our Queen left to powder her nose. Your Majesty, what's the meaning of this? Arrest them all. Your document will have to wait, Honorable Sorceress. You have no right. Surrender now if you don't want another massacre, this time in Loch Muin. A court of law will reveal the traitors. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Synthesis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edern would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorveth. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Foltest to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, Yorveth, your stupid little Triss. And you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? 
But can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Farewell! Something's not right! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! You waited long enough. Should you survive, go south, to Nilfgaard, where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher.
I think we can skip the niceties. Yeah, unnecessary. Yet I sense your readiness to fight on. We were fighting to the death just minutes ago. I understand. I believe I owe you part of my treasure. Family tradition and all. No need. Can you make it back to Vergen? I think so. I've always healed quickly in the past. Can you tell me what'll happen to Jorvith now? Let's be honest. He's a terrorist. I'll not lie about him nor whitewash his deeds. He must earn respect on his own and perhaps, a few generations on, humans will forget. Did you intend just to use him? Geralt, Jorvith has killed more humans than you've eaten chickens. He's not one to be used. It's not that simple. He came to believe in me and knew from the start what we were fighting for. He made a choice. Sure you don't know what I'm talking about? Those baby doe eyes, that intense misty gaze, the pouting? We shared a cause, fought side by side. Jorvith did and would do anything for you. Question is, what are you prepared to do for him? There will always be a place for the Scoia'tael in the free Pontar Valley. As to Jorvith himself, I've heard many say crude things about us. Thing is, as long as I can remember, I found dwarves fascinating. Must be a dragon thing. And though preferable to a human, an elf would be a compromise. Philippa took advantage of the chaos and escaped. Think she could reveal your secret? It's nothing I can control. I don't intend to pursue her. We may or may not meet again, but I shall leave that to fate. She's not one to give up easily. I think she'll come after you again, try to take control, as soon as she's done licking her wounds. I shall be cautious next time, and I know much more about Eilhart than she would ever wish. More than she would wish? Interesting. I obeyed Philippa, but I was not blind. We were close, and Eilhart could not keep all her secrets concealed. I know her weakness, something that can destroy her in an instant. Valuable and dangerous knowledge. Precisely why I'll keep it to myself. You know, you're not the first dragon I've talked to. Hmm. You met my father, Villain Trettenmouth, known also as Bork Three Jackdaws. I thought he couldn't have children. He thought so as well. Hmm. Polymorphing. Did you get that from him? Just a hint of it. I can only assume one human form. He could transform into anyone he liked. You also don't have his quickness and reflexes. And I don't think I saw a single golden scale on you. Nor do I have his moustache or paunch. Sorry to disappoint you. Professional curiosity. Forgive me. Where is Borg these days? Who can know that? He taught me what he thought I should know and flew off yonder. It's the dragon's way. And he gave me my name. Sasynthesis, if I heard right. I prefer being Saskia. She and Philippa have lost. The Lodge has been defeated. That's good, though temporary. I fear we shall hear of them again. Mm -hmm. You know Emir's armies have crossed the Yoruga? I expected as much, as did Philippa. We defeated the Adernian Lords and Henselt. With a bit of luck, We'll defeat the Emperor as well. Time I was on my way. You shall always be a welcome guest in Vergen. I underline guest. Don't worry. I'm only ever a visitor. I know. Sometimes I wish I could see the future, like my father. And sometimes it's better to be surprised. Farewell, Richard.
Sire. In the beginning, there was chaos. 